Hey everybody, it's Johnny here with JP's RC Workshop. I'm going to be doing a video today on binding multiple receivers to a single Traxxas radio. Um, I'm going to be showing you guys two different radios. Now your standard TQ radio like this, it's uh, the model 6516. Um, it is only capable of being bound with a single receiver at any given time. So this one you cannot bind multiples to. Um, any of your TQI radios, this one is for a TRX4 so it is a 5 channel radio. Um, the TQI radios, whether it be a 2, 3, or 5 channel, um, they all have the ability to be bound to up to 30 vehicles. So we're going to go through and show you the binding procedure. Now, this one here is already bound to the TRX4. You set the body out of the way. Um, you guys are familiar with these vehicles from other videos. So, power up your radio to show you that see we are bound to the TRX4 right now so just gonna take this one back here we're gonna be forgetting about this vehicle now so we're to bind to multiple vehicles it's a pretty simple process this is my ECX Barrage. It normally runs a different radio system, but I put my, tra my extra Traxxas receiver in it just for the moment, just for this video. Um, it's just setting on top of the other receiver. But to show you the binding process, just using it as a demonstration, you hold your set button, turn your radio on. Your radio is going to be flashing red. The binding procedure for a single uh, radio like this is the same as for the TQIs. Now, turn or plug in the vehicle with it turned off. Hold your link button and power up your vehicle. It's, flat, or it's solid green now. This one is bound now. And if you try this with a standard TQ and not the TQI, you will notice that it will unbind from the vehicle it was originally bound to or receiver it was originally bound to. Oh yeah. I have to shut the radio off. Turn the radio back on. Now it's still linked to the TRX4. It is now linked to the barrage. And in a moment, it will be hooked up to this one also. Now I will show you it is not currently bound either to this vehicle. Come on. see we have no bind so receiver is flashing green receiver is flashing red power it off turn off your radio hold your set button turn your radio on again now hold your link button as you power up your car and it's bound just that simple so this radio is now bound to three different receivers. It can do up to 30. Um, it's not something I'm going to be able to show you as I only have uh, three Traxxas receivers. Um, also, the uh, TQ radio, there's a little thing about these, is this TQ radio will only bind to one type of receiver. And it's the 
uh, 6519 uh, part number Traxxas TQ receiver. It's a three channel. However, the TQI radio will bind with several different receivers. This one, I don't know the model uh, receiver off the top of my head. It has, it is a factory one for the TRX4. It is a five channel that is TSM and link and uh, telemetry enabled. The one in this one right now is a 6518. It is a non-TSM TQI link compatible uh, five channel. You see how it has the extra ports for your telemetry, uh, your temperature and your voltage uh, uh, plugs for the sensors. Um, it will bind with this radio but the 6518 will not bind with this. Um, it's kind of unfortunate because, you know, not everybody is going to have this Traxxas radio. Um, some of the older uh, Traxxas TQ radios will bind with more than one receiver. Their binding procedure is exactly the same as it is on these uh, two controllers. Um, Traxxas has been pretty good about keeping things simple as far as programming goes so i hope this helps you guys out um hope i've made it easier to understand why some people can bind multiple radios and why some people can't um, and it all boils down to whether you have a tq or a tqi i mean there's a big difference in weight between a tq and a tqi the tqi is heavier um I've actually called Traxxas and asked them about the weight difference and why they don't bind. These come with their uh, more budget oriented vehicles. They are extremely stripped down inside and they do not have near the electronics as even a two channel TQI does. Um, it's just simply uh, for, you know, keep co production costs down so they can get them into more people's hands, you know which sucks. I'd rather a kit cost a few more dollars and be able to do more in the long run than have to pony up, you know, a hundred dollars or more for a radio capable of being bound to multiple receivers. Um, that said, I did do a review on the Flysky uh, FS G2E. It can be bound to, uh, I think it is 10 different receivers. The receivers are relatively inexpensive. Is it like, I think they're $7 or so a piece. Um, this uh, is a two channel radio. It was, uh, it's slated, or it was slated for a vet, Hobbies for Veterans giveaway car. It ended up being installed on the Raptor as I robbed the electronics out of the Raptor to finish the previous giveaway slash. Um, and actually just uh, this morning we ended up giving the other, uh, giving the Raptor slash away. I'm going to be doing a video on the HPI Racing Mini Trophy four-wheel drive truck um, that was donated by one of our supporters. Uh, he shipped it to me at his cost for me to get it going and put it in the hands of a veteran. And that, I think, is very cool. Um, you know, the more support we can show our veterans when they come home uh, with, uh, with trauma from going over and fighting for our freedoms you know, the better, you know, we, we should show these guys a little bit of gratitude, or gratitude, you know, they've, they've risked their lives for us, they have fought for us, um, but anyway, that's for another video, um, if I've been any help, do me a favor, uh, give me a like on this video, uh, subscribe to my channel, I'm trying to grow the channel as fast as we can, um, I'll be posting as many videos as I can, there's going to be 
probably three or four videos posting within the next day. Um, gotten a little behind on editing and stuff. Uh, so you guys get out there, have some fun.